Hey, what is up, YouTube? It is Dexpert back from Dexpert.com. This time, showing you how to uh, get Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich on your Samsung, uh, excuse me, Samsung Eka Epic 4G Touch. Uh, that yeah, that means uh, you're gonna get ice cream sandwich before it comes out over the air. In addition to that, this version of ice cream sandwich will be rooted. Uh, it's the FC15 build, so you're gonna get ice cream sandwich, and it will be rooted. So all your rooted applications will work. That way you can get CyanogenMod, mod, uh, you know, on your phone, which is a really, really beautiful mod for ICS. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. As you see here, I am running Gingerbread EL29 on my phone. Uh, that way you guys don't think, oh, he already has it. But um, starting from scratch, uh, of course, as always, you're going to need a couple of prerequisite software to begin. The first being, if you haven't downloaded it already, the Samsung drivers. Uh, you can find those at www.techspert.com slash rooting. Just go ahead and head over to the uh, Droid Corner Guide and go to the Android 4.0 uh, rooting guide. Um, once you have that downloaded, you're going to also have a selection between two uh, of the root software, much like the previous, the previous video. Uh, one of the versions of the software is going to be Android rooted. Uh, but it will be a full factory reset, meaning whenever you put it on, everything is going to be wiped from your data. It's like starting fresh if you just got it from the store. The second version is going to be the preserved data route. In this video, I'm going to be using the factory reset, just because I want a clean reset uh, on my phone. I have all my data backed up anyways with Titanium Pro. And if you haven't backed up your data already, go ahead and back it up right now if you do any changes uh, anytime you mess with your phone. Uh, so go ahead and download that right now. As soon as it's downloaded, what you want to do is extract it to your desktop. Um, I already have mine extracted, so you won't see me downloading it. Uh, you will see me, you know, going through the rest of the procedures, though. Uh, in addition to that, make sure to be able to extract it. You have any program, WinZip, WinRAR, or 7-Zip. Any three of those programs will work uh, very well. I use WinRAR in my case. So let me just go ahead and get to my desktop, where I have my file saved. And as you see here, I have both the uh, ICS preserved data route and the uh, factory reset route. Again, like I said, I'm going to be using the factory reset route, so let's go ahead and open that up. And this is important for Windows 7 and Windows Vista users. Uh, whenever you right click it, you have to run as administrator to give it the privileges to run. Uh, so go ahead and click that, otherwise it will not work. Again, this is if you're on Windows 7 or Windows Vista. Now while that loads, what you want to go ahead and do is go ahead and put your phone into Odin download mode. First thing you want to do is just go ahead and power your phone off, as you see I'm doing right here. And then once your phone is completely off, the way you put it into Odin download mode is you hold the volume down and power button at the same time. And you're going to hold that uh, until the screen pops up. It's going to say uh, critical error. Uh, no, I'm sorry, not critical error. It's going to warn you of the uh, evils of putting your own custom ROM on there. Because it's going to say that it could cause critical errors. So, let us uh, put it into download mode. Alright, you see here it went into uh, Odin download mode. Once you get to the screen, you want to hit battery up. It's going to switch over to the downloading screen. That's all you have to do for your phone right now. Now that you see in the background, Odin has popped up. I'm sorry, the Odin root has popped up. So now all you have to do is plug in your phone into your computer via USB. If you're having any problems at this stage with the Odin execution program not recognizing your phone, the first and most probable thing is it's your probably your USB cable, especially if you're using uh, Samsung, you know, this, the USB cable that came with Samsung. They are notorious for using the cheapest components available for their cables. Uh, special thanks to QB77, uh, who said that uh, you know, BlackBerry cables work the best. And as you can see in the background, my phone has now been recognized. Um, it says COM and then a number. If yours says that, it doesn't matter what number, you're good to go. And then all that's left is all you have to do is hit start. This start will go ahead and start flashing the rooted Android version onto your phone. Again, this process is the same if you are using the uh, preserved data version or the factory reset version. So you're going to go through these same steps. The uh, transfer process should take anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes, most likely 15 minutes if, if it's your first time. Uh, it takes a little bit longer if this is the first route uh, that you have run. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and come back whenever it is done.
Alright guys, looks like the Odin uh, uh, route is almost done. As you can see, my green progress bar on my computer and my blue progress bar here on my phone uh, both match up. They should both complete at the same time. That's on the last part, which is the modem dot bin, it looks like. Now a little reminder to keep in, uh, to keep in mind, whenever your phone reboots, uh, whether you use the factory reset version or the preserved data version, your phone will automatically go through these uh, installations of the, of the Sprint apps again. I don't know why it does that, but I guess it's so we can have as much bloatware as possible. But as you can see there, it's a pass, uh, all threads completely successful, and then this pops up when my phone reboots as a uh, little uh, data loading thing inside my Android phone. And then next up should be the Samsung Galaxy 2. Oh, there it is. Okay. And then, uh, but yes, as I was mentioning before, the, oh, the great epic 4G Sprint logo, which isn't really all that great, the 4G on Sprint. But nonetheless um, it should take and shouldn't take any longer than one to two minutes once you're on the screen if it takes more than two minutes actually let's say if it takes longer than five minutes go ahead and reboot your phone and then start it back up again and that should fix it um, but it's not a big problem if it stays there you know for a little bit longer than it should And if you had any uh, themes while you were, uh, you know, on Gingerbread, uh, on EXE Launcher or Go Launcher or, or whatever it's called, those themes will disappear. Um, you'll see it revert back to original Android settings, so you're gonna have to reinstall the themes or just reapply them. Really, uh, not a big deal, but it does take away almost everything, um, as well as your uh, desktop widgets. It goes back to TouchWiz. And my phone here went off for a second. It should be coming on very soon. Okay, as you can see, this is the uh, the starting menu. Uh, it looks like it preserved all my data. Well, actually, no, it did not preserve my data. It is on factory reset, so it did not preserve anything. Uh, so this is what it looks like stock. Um, as you can see, we're gonna hit the menu just so you can see. And as you can see, the menu button is already different, uh, and as well as also the settings menu. So we're gonna go all the way down, and we're gonna go to about phone. Oh, let's go there again. Okay, yeah, we're gonna hit here about phone, and as you can see, I'm running Android 4.0.3. Uh, baseband version FC 15 ice cream sandwich um, Thank you for watching guys your phone is now rooted So feel free to start downloading and using any rooted applications in the next video I'm going to show you how to install clockwork mod as always Please be sure to rate comment and subscribe if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment uh, Section or send me a message. I'd be more than happy to help you. Thank you and have a good day and um, thank you for watching TechSpert